Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Disc Creatures, a fun monster training game that is inspired by the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we have been making our way through this tunnel to get to uh, Pista Port, which is where our next adventure takes place. Was it episode three of the game? is what we're trying to figure out what's going on over in Peace to Port. We have been doing pretty good. We have changed up some of our, our uh, disc creatures. We have an Onion, a Brachotron, and a Volta Gamma. We have been doing, actually with a little bit of difficulty, we started out trying to come into this tunnel. We had some difficulty. We worked some out, did some grinding, switched a few characters out, and we have now been doing pretty good here in the last episode we have successfully done well we'll have to see how well we do in this one and we have kind of developed a one two three punch here one with poison wave one with metal scatter and then the third with electro wave now i think i'm going to switch that back out i think i'm going to try brush away because the metal scatter is a metal attack i don't think how i'm not sure how well it's going to work with the metal disc creatures there i wouldn't think a metal attack would be strong or i would think it almost be weak against metal types but i am not sure about that let's do our electric wave and see what it does we also nicely picked up a charm that basically does a high speed memory effect on all of the disc creatures and that high speed memory basically well to start off your any in any battle you have a chance to get a disc from one of the enemies that you fought a high speed memory increases that chance and now i have a charm that will do a high speed of memory on all of them basically as i enter the battle so that's really nice and we have a chance to an increased chance to be able to take out these or not to take them out to, but to get their discs and that really helps us because with the disc we could either sell them to get new items or oh you know maybe use them later on if we need them for some reason but we will because i know some discs or some moves i should say are usable only if or discoverable or i'm not sure exactly the word to use but in some moves you have to have a disc to use that disc to learn the move i guess is the best way to say it we did one on voltron so i don't know what those are they kind of just tell me when it happens so being able to get those discs is very useful and usually you have to be a lot higher level before you have a chance of getting those discs having that in there to automatically get those is very nice now I ran into one of those guys before and I was really worried that little egg spidery looking yellow thing on the left but he seemed to go down really quickly in the last time I encountered him although he's a much higher level I think I will not be too bad off here with him it seemed to go fairly well but we'll see oh he's Oh, we the uh volta gamma is definitely oh they're all three of them out that's the way i like to have it the volta gamma was kind of bound there too so i was a little bit worried about that i am going to clear out everybody probably in this area before i worry about trying to get that disc r there because i i really want to make sure that we are ready for that disc R. in several of the previous battles we have been decidedly unprepared for the disc R's, and i really am trying 
whatever I can to keep from doing that. Now, my Volta Gamma probably should be healed up a little bit after this battle if he takes any damage because he is down a little bit. I gotta say, I am a little worried about his strength there, but if we get through here, we might be able to knock these guys out pretty easily here with the Mind more already almost down to nothing before the Poison Wave comes through. There we go. And then the Metal Scatter, and it looks like we took him out pretty easily. I like it when it works out. That's my nice one, two, three punch that we I've kind of figured out that works extremely well in this area, and I am very happy about that. We have our Brachatron, which probably is my favorite disc creature so far. He just, not only is he kind of a cool idea and a cool concept, he is also, like, has a lot of different abilities, a lot of different ability types, so he can kind of be customized a little bit in some of those we've got him down about 40 i think i'm gonna risk you know i'm gonna see his status how close is he to level up still needs a lot to level up maybe we'll do one more battle and then heal him up i don't want to use all my little ones this might be an interesting battle here but that level 20 is going to be i am now Every one of my disc creatures is their level or above now. So I'm assuming that's going to make a big difference at like a turning point. Once you get to the point at which your disc creatures are at least even with them, you kind of get a little bit better, a little bit stronger. There's a evening out there when you're lower than them, you don't quite do all your damage. And when then you're above them, it almost seems like you do a little bit extra damage because of the level difference. So hopefully we do not do too bad here. Oh no, my Volta Gamma. See what I tell you. What did I tell you? I knew it. He would go down. I should have healed him. We are going to take an item here. Hopefully I will have enough reboot capsules. I think the best thing to do here is a, I'm gonna do a lead ray and there's a specific reason. I don't know who's gonna go first. I don't know if the Brachatron is gonna go first or the onion. I'm gonna hit him and hopefully it's not going to. Okay, so the onion would go first. Now, hopefully he doesn't hit him and knock him back under. That's my only hope here. And it doesn't appear that he did. We should be able to take him out in the next round fairly easily. This guy will probably go above him. And I believe my... My... This guy, my Volt Gamma, will also go in front of him. The Wobble. There we go. Not ideal, but we got everybody up in the end. And that's really the important thing so that they all get the experience and that's the key thing is that they're all get that experience at the end so let's love uh, uh, heal him up a bit i got a lot of these here so i'm not extremely worried about it but i was hoping i was hoping that it wouldn't be so bad let's go ahead and heal him up a little bit as well and we are going to continue our search for a new got a piece of iron sandals i'm curious what that does too i'm getting a lot of interesting and new slows down movements but prevents knockdowns once and boosts stats hmm i'm not sure if i'd like that i really don't like items in pretty much any rpg or any I understand that some things speed you up and slow you down or something. A bigger weapon is going to be slower, but is going to hit harder. I understand that concept, but there's a lot of things that I really don't want to trade off. And speed is one thing 
that I don't want to trade off here. I like that he hits quickly and it's very helpful. I think that he hits quickly because he will hit him in my Volta Gamma, I believe hit before they go, but it depends a little bit on their power as or their speed. It's all based on a stat called speed. So it kind of is based a little bit on that. Ivory attack, and then I'm just do Lud Wave. Yep, and Electro Ball. Let's, I think he's actually strong against Electric, but oh, he still just squeaked out there, unfortunately. So we got a Gear Get Disc, and we should be almost. Oh, nope, we got one, one more at least over here. I'm kind of, eh, I can't sneak around him, I don't think. I think they are like, know where I am. I hope they didn't get a ambush. They did get an ambush on me. No, I'm actually a little worried here because of that 18 and they are going to devastate my, oh no, they didn't. Okay. I was figuring they would just slam down on my Voltron, but it seems to be okay here. I feel that last guy, that guy seems to really maybe a really strong attack but a really weak defense he almost looks like a spider egg i kind of think that i want to try the fire breath and see how that hits it's what does that say De oh sometimes drains three energy i didn't notice that i want to so that hits all and that hits all but doesn't do yeah let's keep with the jewel wow oh gosh a lot of worried there, a little bit of worried. Okay, uh, poison. Okay, well, come on, we could we could take these guys out. Come on. Oh, he got toxic now. That's nice. So that's going to help me out as well. Here we go. Jag went out. I'm happy about that. I gotta say, I'm really happy about the level 18 dropping out really quickly. Yeah, let's just do lead array and then my electro ball, I guess. Take him out. I figured that was going to go pretty quickly. 640 experience. I love it. I'm actually going up very well and I'm very happy about that. And since this area was such a struggle to begin with, I'm very happy about leveling up pretty well here and getting a little bit stronger. I was quite worried for quite some time. What is going on here? Wait, let's see what my health is. Let's go ahead and use some healing here. Yeah, I think that's that was definitely a wise decision there because there's something sleeping on the other side of that and I just, something's gonna happen. Listen, that there snoring monster of a creature. Ow, I am poised to live like this i don't even know the how these guys talk you said discard folk right kind of you you and your creature do nothing about him wow i don't know what kind of accent that's supposed to be but whoo he's missing out about a half of his letters there you and your creatures find it don't seem like you know the right moves what if only if and only there was some type of move that could wake a sleeper upright. I don't know of any move that does wake a sleeping. That's fine with me. I will move on. I am not overly excited to find out what that is. Although the disc in the back there is probably something very useful. Oh dear, the creatures in this tunnel are just so strong. They're tough cookies to crack. I don't know. I went through here pretty quickly. Let's see what you have here. You have a 14, 14, and 14. I should not have to worry about these. Let's just go ahead and do my one, two, or three attack. I know that the the woggles are strong to electric, but I don't think they're strong enough, especially to all the other things that I have here. A burrow. Ouch. That did a nice little bit of damage to him. Oh, I hope he, okay, good. He did, I was worried that he was gonna hit the Brachatron too. 
and or the Brachytron also and was going to make a lot of damage there but he didn't and I'm really happy about that okay so the poison got him let's just go ahead and do our one two three punch again I guess our one two three punch the the four this is the four five six punch there we go you do the one two three punch in the first round in the second round you do the three four five punch I can't believe he didn't die to be honest with you I only have two no E charge and it really is not gonna matter because that lead wave or yep okay let's E charge him too which is gonna be bad because I do believe he's gonna get to attack oh no he didn't Ooh, I was a little worried I thought he was gonna get it to attack before my Brachytron but he didn't so I'm happy about that there we go I think I might just head back to town to rest up for a bit that's probably a good idea wonder what energy does I don't think I've used those yet oh regular energy those are health because we got toxic denums oh a special energy blend to cure sleep area errors curse errors unlock see yeah I usually don't use these a lot because I just don't see the use in using them mid battle some of those like lock arrows or well curse is probably the most annoying but I haven't ran into sleep some of them just don't seem to be all that I'm not effective that's not the right word it I just don't think they are advantageous when you do something that's not an attack you have to know that it is going to be better than the attack better than just straight attacking by yourself and that's really the crux of the matter is is that thing that you're doing that's not an attack going to be better than an attack and that's really what you've got to figure out that probably should use just go ahead because that's a hundred let's go ahead and oh not him there we go that may i was worried there for a second and i think that's going to be good he's 133 yeah we should be all right i don't want to use too many of them although we got a ton of discs on our way here so we're probably pretty good in that regard i want to get this disc trainer and then we are going to clear out this area and see how I'm kind of curious what's going on up here though let's see ah this is this their ex excavator fellow up ahead there I heard talk that he comes across some pretty rare items from time to time the likes you won't find elsewhere like a charm to ward off errors for instance okay well we could just talk to the, the different people Hot in here, but don't worry. I'm a stone type creature. We're quite resilient to heat. That's inf good information. So, so stone types are going to be weak to fire. Oh gosh, Tenor, I'm a told I, but there be a rock there blocking it all off. Okay, so there's rock in the tunnel blocking it off. Okay, let's see what this crazy cat over here says neighborhood excavator here what can i do you for toss some cash more way and i'll try and dig up an item for you okay yeah sure i'll toss a little bit will you give it to me now let's see what we can find in oh uh, go get some rest up at a no be what okay so i think i'm supposed to go rest at a of uh, uh this cafe and then come back i think that's what he meant i'm not 100 percent sure about that but i think that is what a fortunate little disc are you are you've got to battle against me i might have got a little too cocky there i do believe oh no i think we can handle this again where all of our guys are level at least a level above his highest or this person's highest I should say I shouldn't be I don't know sexist I didn't mean to be I wasn't really thinking I use 
he and stuff in a very neutral term a lot of times, but I'm I'm trying to be better about that. I know it does upset certain people, so I try to respect that. Okay, there we go. Strong against the metal. We got one down. Let's do the one with the the, the three, four, five punch, I guess. And we should be yeah, pretty well. Yep. I that worked really well for us. I see luck isn't the only thing you've got on your side. I got I got two energy and silver. Sweet. Which way is the right way? I'm not sure. Although any way we go is going to help us out, I believe. But these guys are going to give us a little bit more experience, which is always a good thing in an RPG. Although I probably should have healed up my... Mm, I'm a little worried now. Let's see if my he's garden. I'm Volt Gamma is I'm a little worried about him. Depending on how everything turns out, who uses what, when, and where, we might be in a little bit of a da uh, a trouble here. He's paralyzed. Well, there's two down. So I guess the rock is going to be the only one, and I don't think he's going to give us any trouble here. I was a little worried there for a second. I thought that the Volta Gamma was gonna take some damage there and maybe even get knocked out. I probably should give him another little bit of a health here. He's up to 17, I'm liking this. Another new move learned. We are pushing through this. Levels are so big in these games and in really any game. To be honest with you, the just the level is extremely important to be the right level, but it's also very extremely important to have the right creatures and fighting the right things. And it seems to be that was one of the big things I believe I was missing there. Are we gonna? Yeah, I think we're gonna just try to get to the city, <laughs> the Pita Port. I'm trying to head to the the Pita Pista port, I think is what it was called, and see what we need to do there. We'll probably run in there and be done for this episode because we're already pushing a little bit on the time. We should. That little wobble, I, woggle, is stronger than I ever give him credit for. And he seems to always be resistant to everything I throw at him. I just he's always the almost always the last one to be there He's strong versus electric strong versus spirit strong versus metal. He's not really it just sometimes it seems that way because of how well he's taking all the damage I am not gonna nope not Okay, that's another way out. I'm not sure if that's gonna be out in the town or Okay now hold it right there, kiddo. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Hmm, quite the interesting treasure chest you've got there. I reckon there's all kinds of rare artifacts packed in there. Taking care of precious relics is a grown man's job, not a child's. Now step aside, kiddo. Come on then, move. Well now, all right then. If you aren't going to clear out, then you leave me no choice. Sorry, kiddo. But I'm taking that there chest whether you like it or not. Well, let's see what he has there. Okay, a skull tan and two dentines. Four, two fourteens. I've never fought a dentine. That's the first time we've seen them earlier in, I think, in the city. We have saw them earlier in Jungan Village, I believe, or Livium Town, the very first town I can't quite remember the pronunciation wait I want to make sure I'm hitting the right ones poison wave metal scatter and electro wave I don't know what they can do this is the first time I have seen them to fight against them so I don't know what they're strong or weak against so hopefully we'll be able to do not too bad against them magical veil okay barrier so basically they did nothing so far <laughs> they're weak to metal that's good to know 
There we go. I think that went out very well, and we are going to take him down pretty easily here. Just, yeah, just like that. <laughs> but we were, I think, 13s and 14s or 14. Yeah, we were definitely two levels to five levels above him. So I wasn't too worried about that. And my Brachytron's now up to level 21. Wow. We're getting some major damage in here. Uh, well, I'll be. Okay, you win, thinner and square. A grown man like me, I know when to quit. I'll just be on my way. Will you be on your way, little punk, and I will... He healed your whole team. Well, that's very nice of him. Will you be on your way? I'm going to pick out whatever's in these things. It's probably a mimic. It, whoa, it's a creature. Oh, man. Okay, a loot mitt appeared. Level 18... Shoot, should I do my poison waves? I think I'm gonna do straight single attacks here. He's a rock type. Oh, he's not gonna do the fire is not gonna. We know that the fire is not good against rock type. So let's see how this works out for us. The electric didn't seem to do very good. Okay, that wow. Who did he hit? He didn't seem to hit anybody, although let's try the teardrop and see if that does anything different than the grass type. Not much else I could do. I could try the wind and see if that does anything, but my electric ball, I guess that could cause paralysis, so let's try that. He is defending, I, that's a, oh, he's para paralyzed, so that's good. It didn't see yeah okay so those definitely did not help me out to switch to those the poison wave also could do good if it could poison him but he's already paralyzed so I think the best thing to do is just stick with what I have here and see how well it does he's defending a lot and guarding which is probably what's helping him get so little health off of him each time but I am pretty good so far I can do two more ivy attacks he's gonna have to e-charge but I believe I got yeah a couple more on him as well so he's still paralyzed so I don't think he can do any attack active hits so if the if you look at the ice um icons along the bottom of him you got the disc which I think is the memory the high-speed memory that's the disc burner that I have then the vertical line that separates to the other status effects that first one I think is the paralyzed one he is still paralyzed that is very good he's can't do I think when you're paralyzed you can't do a active attack you can do defensive stuff like guard and stuff like that but you can't actively use an ability that paralyzed helped us out quite immensely right there. I got a loot mint disc, which is cool. Gained experience, leveled up to 18. Woohoo! So that was all that was in there. Let's see what these two discs. I got an Energen Silver and a, a Popper, which is cool. Uh, that's definitely useful. Now it looks like we're gonna have to make our way back down here but we have ran out of time. So I believe in the next episode, we are gonna have to see what's in the piece of port and finish this off, the, run the gauntlet. That looked, that gauntlet down there looked a little troublesome, but that's all I got for you today. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you later. Bye everybody.